mind and discipline. Mind lives with definitions, principles, beliefs, laws and disciplines. Mind tries to create an order, but in existence there is nothing good or bad. We can define anything concrete, but it does not happen that way. If Hitler was killed the moment he was born, that would have been sin because somebody would have killed him before Second World War. Then it would have been good for humanity. Is not it so? There is no way to define whether killing is good or bad. It looks very subtle. And mind is coming to a conclusion that nothing is good and bad. This will become a new definition for mind. Mind is at functioning. Even now while you are listening to this talk of Tao Shu Buddha, mind always and continues to remain functioning whether you are reading, listening or doing anything. This is the way the mind operates. Mind is very cunning. On the surface it says something, but deep within it is thinking and planning something else. Look at the husbands and wives. They are making love on the surface, but deep down there is a turmoil that is going on. And sometimes it does happen. After making love, the wife asks certain unwanted questions, maybe about the other relations, maybe something that her mind feels that the man is not doing right. So this is how the mind goes on. Mind is very calculative. So on the surface, it says something, does something, but deep down, its thinking and planning is something else. It is very calculated. It checks all the pros and cons for doing a thing. Mind needs a past and a future to survive. Without that, the mind cannot exist. If past is no more, the mind will not be there. If future is not there, the mind will not be there. In the present moment, in the moments of now here, mind cannot exist. But life needs present. Living in present moment is the biggest present one can give to oneself. Sages say even till the last step mind follows us. It tries all kind of tricks to be fooling us. And then when finally it fails in its tricks, it simply recedes, waiting for any opportunity to come so that it can come back in the limelight, come back to have the control over you. And this process continues. There is no end to it. To be aware of this is the beginning of the process of meditation. To be aware of this is the process of the beginning of meditation.